Hey guys, and welcome back to another Skyrim Mods Showcase. In today's video, I'll be introducing mods that enhances the Warzone experience in Skyrim. We all know that Skyrim has a war between the Stormcloaks and the Imperials. And with these mods, you'll feel a lot more immersed into the war while witnessing epic battles. So yeah, if you're into Skyrim content, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like to help the video out. Without wasting any more time, let's start the video. First, we have a few mods that we definitely need when enhancing the overall Warzone experience of the game. We have Civil War Lines Expansion, an amazing mod that adds around 500 new dialogue lines for both the Stormcloaks and Imperials. Some of its features are that they will now react to the current events, the player, enemies, and even allies and more. These can be in the form of soldiers referring you by your race or even your level. Stupid list. Not the best you can do. New dialogue lines can also be triggered whenever a group of soldiers belonging to either the Stormcloaks or Imperials win a battle. There will also be instances when new combat lines occur when they are against different creatures. I honestly think that this mod is an absolute must-have as it gives a more personality to the NPCs involved. Plus, it's a great mod to have as a foundation in today's video. I'll fight the entire legion myself if they dare show their faces here. You've got a lot of nerve walking around here dressed like an imperial legionnaire. <laughs> Soldiers gleam like fresh fallen snow and clank like a kitchen. If they head this way, we'll go. Next up, we have Actor Limit Fix. I previously showcased this mod on my last video, which I recommend you to watch after this. Anyways, without the mod, when number of NPCs reach a certain amount in a given cell, you'll start to see NPCs floating. But with this mod installed, it basically increases the limit on how many NPCs can be in a certain cell. It's a mod we definitely need especially since this video is all about overhauling the Warzone aspects of the game, which means adding a number of new NPCs in the game. Oh, and speaking of epic battles, let's hear a word from our sponsor, War Thunder. If you haven't heard of War Thunder yet, it's currently available on PC and the console of your choice for free. War Thunder is known for being the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made, where you can command over 2,500 of tanks, planes, helicopters, and even ships of 10 major nations. From old biplanes and armored vehicles of the 1920s to even one of the most powerful fighter jets and main battle tanks of today's age. What amazes me the most is the amazing detail whenever you hit an enemy as it even shows a damage x-ray view of where your shots hit inside the tank. You'll get to see where the shells penetrated and I personally love that feature in War Thunder. Plus, the amazing detailed vehicles, graphics and even realistic sound effects can definitely immerse you even more. War Thunder also offers three amazing game modes. We have Arcade, which has a faster paced matches. We also have Simulator, where you can experience the ultimate challenge. And lastly, we have Realistic Mode, which is the perfect middle ground of each of these game modes wraps up realism progressively. Oh, you'll also get to fully customize your vehicles to your liking. War Thunder basically has everything you need to have fun and immerse yourself. For a limited time, you can use my code pin in the description or in the comment section. Where new and returning players who hasn't played War Thunder in 6 months will get the massive bonus pack. And this is across all platforms. From 7 days of premium account, premium vehicles, amazing looking skins, 100,000 silver lions, XP boosters, and even exclusive Eagle of Valor, and more. So yeah, what are you waiting for? And click the link down below. And once again, big thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's be honest. When playing Skyrim, we know there's a war going on, right? But in all honesty, does it actually feel like there are any? So yeah, the next couple of mods I will be showcasing are mods that makes Tamriel feel like there's a actual war going on. We have Civil War Checkpoints, a mod that is designed to make the world feel more immersive by having new military checkpoints at key roadways throughout Skyrim. 
these new checkpoints gives a greater sense of security and authority to Skyrim during the Civil War. It would actually make sense that there will be checkpoints to avoid spies entering holds to gather intel between factions. Some other cool features are that the guards in each checkpoint have their own schedules. Plus, checkpoints will change factions depending on the progress of the Civil War. I'll also recommend getting Civil War Battlefields, as this mod adds past battles around Skyrim. What I mean by that is that some of the remains of previous battles will now be shown as you travel around, which, to be honest, adds that immersive feeling that there's an actual civil war happening in the region. What I especially love about this mod is that these battlefields have a chance of being occupied by bandits. Of course, bandits being bandits, they'll be looting for gear, or probably you come across a wounded soldier that may have been left behind. These small additions makes it feel a lot more immersive and fun to explore around Tamriel. Of course, when there is war, there will also be refugees. In a mod called Civil War Refugees, made by the same author of the previous mods, adds exactly that. Refugee camps will now scatter around each hold, giving you the atmosphere that the Civil War is causing a lot of problems to the locals of Skyrim. I personally think that this mod has a grim atmosphere because of the civil war. However, when using major city overhauls, you'll probably have to do some patching yourself, as the camps may have a chance to clip through them. When roaming around the lands of Skyrim, we may come across holds where bandits have taken over. Clearing them won't really do much as they will be filled with bandits once more after a few in-game days. However, with a mod called Lawbringer, it gives you the ability to make a difference in Tamriel. As you clear bandit strongholds, you'll be given the choice on which faction gets to keep a stronghold. Whether you want the Stormcloaks, Imperials, or even the local holds guards to take control over it. Overall, it's a cool and a fun way to clear bandit holds as you can see world progression through them. Next up is an old favorite of mine, Man Those Borders. This mod adds guard posts to each hold's border enhancing the sense of security upon entering each territory. This mod complements the Civil War Checkpoints mod by adding new outposts at the edges of the border. You'll encounter fully manned fortifications with ample supplies, while others may consist of just a tent and a few stockades. These scouting posts serve as a more of a deterrent to attackers than a strategic stronghold. I strongly recommend you to get this as it's also very compatible with a lot of mods out there. And lastly, for landscape changes, we have Hold Border Banners. A mod that adds banners along the roads to show which hold you're about to enter. For example, if you're around the Rift region, you'll see rift and flags and so on. Honestly, a simple mod that adds a bit of immersion and aesthetic to the world. And yes, all mods being showcased today are all compatible with one another. Alright, now let's dive into the major overhauls. These massive changes will significantly alter how the civil war unfolds in Skyrim. In vanilla Skyrim, siege battles and patrols often feel lackluster, especially when considering the scale and manpower required to conquer or defend a city. The mod Skyrim at War Reborn addresses this issue in a big way. Depending on the version you choose, this mod adds over 2,000 soldiers to the game, marching patrols traversing Skyrim to epic siege battles unlike anything seen before. I mean, look at the amount of soldiers that are present in the Battle of Whiterun in vanilla Skyrim. It's honestly laughable. However, with this mod installed, the mod creates an immersive and dynamic large-scale war environment that was truly missing in the base game. As you progress through the Civil War questline, you'll gain the ability to command and lead groups of soldiers. The higher your rank is, the more troops you can command. The mod also introduces a variety of new units. Each unit possesses unique combat tactics and strengths and weaknesses, adding complexity to battles. 
Major walled cities now also boast improved fortifications around their entrances and increased guard presence. Additionally, it's worth noting that wearing opposing affection armor will now result in soldiers attacking you on sight. So it's crucial to be mindful of your attire when navigating Skyrim's war-torn landscape, especially if you haven't joined any of the factions yet. In addition, I highly recommend pairing this mod with another overhaul mod called Civil War Overhaul Redux. This mod aims to fix and enhance the Civil War questline in Skyrim. The mod adds a lot of content while also fixing many issues with the questline. I'll try my best to cover some of the key features, but there are just too many to list them all. Before the Battle of Whiterun quest, Cities and military camps will have a small chance of containing spies who want to disrupt their foes. These spies will seek out an assassination target before disappearing. It's important to note that these spies won't target you if you haven't picked a side yet. However, once you've chosen a side, be sure to keep a dagger close at hand, as they will now try to assassinate you as well. Another feature is that during the Battle of Whiterun quest, there's a small chance that a dragon will suddenly appear, making the battle even more intense, as all troops on the battlefield will now be a prime target for the dragon. After winning or losing the Battle of Whiterun, the Civil War questline will now open up as a fully radiant questline. Losing the Battle of Whiterun will set you as the defender for a hold that you already own. If you won on the other hand, you'll be on the offensive. And unlike in the base game, where Civil War sieges were only available for 3 cities, this mod allows all 9 cities to be taken over. Each city battle will determine who will maintain or control the hold. Overall, this mod significantly enhances the Civil War questline, making it more dynamic and interesting. Plus, you can also customize your experience through its MCM menu. There are definitely more features that this mod brings, so I recommend reading the mod page description for more information. We also have Civil War Aftermath SE. After fully clearing an encampment, you'll face one more problem. And this problem is the commanding officer of the camp. That's because in vanilla Skyrim, you were not able to fully clear the camp because of the commanding officer is unkillable. However, with this mod, you are now able to fully raid the camp, quite literally, since you can now also burn the tents with fire magic. I personally think that this is a cool immersive addition as it just makes sense. And again, big thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. Be sure to try War Thunder out for free in PC and in consoles using the link in the description or in my pinned comment. This is available for both new players and returning players who haven't played for 6 months or more. Remember, you'll get a ton of amazing rewards such as 7 days of premium account, premium vehicles, and a lot more. It's honestly an opportunity I wouldn't miss. Well, that's about it. Hope you all enjoyed this episode focused on making your Skyrim into a war zone. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and consider subscribing to the channel. Big thanks to all my channel members for supporting the channel even more. Thank you as well to everyone watching the video. So yeah, I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe everyone and happy modding.